News reporter Michael Severin shows us the family alleges some key documents for the case have gone missing. According to the lawsuit, Elizabeth Bruce lived at Southtown Living Center from 2013 to 2016 and suffered from dementia. But her family alleges her residential records are now gone. They believe they were misplaced or destroyed. Her family claims that when she died, Bruce was malnourished and covered in rashes caused by scabies. They allege staff at the facility tried to hide the outbreak from them and the state. But we're doing a great job now. And the residents there are well cared for today. We've had management changes. That's Phil Emerson with Agia Health Services, the company that owns Southtown. They're also named in the lawsuit, and he says he couldn't comment directly on the allegations. But he said that the staff named in the lawsuit are no longer with the company. The former executive director was convicted of criminal mistreatment in 2018. He says they've hired a third-party management company to deal with its daily operations. Part of the reason that was done was we wanted to bury the notion that somebody was covering up for somebody else. This is the third lawsuit filed against the nursing home by family members who died at Southtown. There were also deaths in 2015 and 2016. All the lawsuits allege their loved ones were infested with the parasite and staff failed to care for them. Matthew McNatt, who lives nearby, says he supports the Bruce family in their lawsuit. It's understandable to, to want to make sure it's um, recompensed and to make sure it doesn't happen to others. Bruce's family has requested a jury trial. In Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.